The American astronaut who spent nearly a year in space is back on Earth this morning. Scott Kelly landed safely in Kazakhstan overnight after 340 days aboard the International Space Station. This is the longest an American has ever traveled in space. Mark Strassman is at the Johnson Space Center in Houston with what's next for the astronaut. Mark, what a historic day. Good morning. Good morning. Here inside Building 9, this is a mock-up of the Soyuz space capsule that brought Kelly back to Earth. Over here, you can see a replica of the space station where NASA also trains its astronauts. Think about it. Kelly has orbited the Earth 16 times a day for almost a year now. That's 143 million miles, or about the distance, between Earth and Mars. Scott Kelly back on Mother Earth after 340 days in space. Dan. He's back after nearly a year living in Earth's ultimate penthouse apartment, about 220 miles above the rest of us. Folks here in Mission Control Houston letting out a, a very big cheer. NASA will now study the 52-year-old for the impact of long-term weightlessness. What happens to the human body after 340 days of too little gravity and too much radiation? They'll also assess the psychological effects of living in such cramped alien quarters. It's not necessarily uncomfortable, but it is a harsh environment. You know, for instance, having no running water, you know, it's kind of like I've, I've been in the woods camping for a year with regards to, like, hygiene. And liftoff. The year in space starts now. The goal, to help future astronauts survive even longer space missions, like the three years it could take to get to Mars and back. It's tough for a lot of different reasons. Astronaut Reed Weissman spent nearly six months on the International Space Station in 2014. From the medical community, uh, there are thousands of things they will be looking at. What is going on with his muscles? What's going on with his bones? What's going on with his eyes? Fluid shift. How's his brain coping? NASA will also have the unique opportunity to analyze changes to Kelly's genetic structure by comparing him to his identical twin brother, former astronaut Mark Kelly. In hundreds of extraordinary photos from space, Kelly has invited his social media followers along for the ride. In October, he took this memorable selfie of his first spacewalk. I believe in the importance of flying in space and the research we do. I believe in exploration, and I will miss being on the front lines of that endeavor. Kelly says the hardest thing about his time in space was missing his friends and family, but he'll see many of them when he returns home to Houston tonight. Mm -hmm. Nora? Congratulations to him. Thank you so much, Mark.